Hi, this is VJ. Today, I'm going to show you how to find the values of sine, cosine, and tangent functions with degrees. You may use this as a reference when you're taking a test or when working with any other type of calculations. It will be very useful. So let's get started. First, what you have to do is make six columns and five rows like shown here, and then start naming them. So this first box should be your numbers. numbers and the second box should be your degrees and these three boxes should be your sine cosine and tangent sine cosine and tangent this is exactly how you should name them and then for the numbers we are going to start with zero one fourth half three fourth and one you can see that this gradually increases by by one fourth so it goes from zero to one fourth and then to half and then three fourth and then one for degrees you're going to start with zero degrees 30 degrees 45 degrees 60 degrees and 90 degrees so now you got everything set up we're going to start finding the values for sine. So for finding the values of sine, all you have to do is just take the, the, the square root of the number. For example, for sine 0 degrees, you take a square root of 0, which is just 0. For sine 30 degrees, you take square root of 1 over 4, which is equal to 1 over 2. 1 over 2. For sine 45 degrees, you take the square root of 1 over 2, which is equal to 1 over square root of 2. 1 over square root of 2. For sine 60 degrees, you take the square root of 3 over 4, which is equal to square root of 3 over 2. Square root of 3 over 2. And for sine 90 degrees, you take the square root of 1, which is just 1. So this is how you find the values for sine. And for cosine, it is very easy. All you have to do is just reverse the values you got for sine. For example, for cosine of 0 degrees, it is just 1. So cosine 0 degrees is 1. For cosine of 30 degrees, it is square root of 3 over 2. Square root of 3 over 2. For cosine of 45 degrees, it is 1 over square root of 2. 1 over square root of 2. Notice that sine 45 degrees and cosine 45 degrees gives you the same value, 1 over square root of 2. And then cosine of 60 degrees will be 1 over 2. And cosine of 90 degrees is 0. So now you know why sine 90 degrees is 1 and cosine 90 degrees is 0. And then for tangent, you know tangent is sine over cosine so all you have to do is just divide the values you got for sine by cosine so for tangent of 0 degrees it's 0 divided by 1 which is 0 for tangent of 30 degrees it is 1 over 2 divided by square root of 3 over 2 which is equal to 1 over 2 times 2 over square root of 3 the 2's get cancelled out so you'll be left with 1 over square root of 3 so tangent of 30 degrees is 1 over square root of 3 and then for tangent of 45 degrees it is just 1 over square root of 2 divided by 1 over square root of 2 which is just 1 and then for tangent of 60 degrees it is square root of 3 over 2 divided by 1 over 2 which is equal to square root of 3 over 2 times 2 over 1 you are just taking the reciprocal of 1 over 2. So the 2's get cancelled out. You'll be left with square root of 3. So tangent of 60 degrees is square root of 3. And then for tangent of 90 degrees, it is 1 over 0, which is just undefined. So this is exactly how you find the values for 0 degrees, 30 degrees, 45 degrees, 60 degrees, and 90 degrees for sine, cosine, and tangent. And Thank you for watching.